Jennifer Roberts here with a video covering X-Plane 11's options for monitor configuration. This video was filmed using X-Plane 1101R2. Monitor configuration is accessed through the Graphics tab of the Settings window. X-Plane can be used in various configurations when you have only one computer. There are options for windowed or full screen mode, and you can connect multiple monitors to your computer and configure each one separately in this screen. The settings for the Instructor Operating Station, often called an IOS, and the 2D panel are particularly useful with multiple monitors. Now I typically use X-Plane windowed because I'm using other programs around it while working. In this mode, it's handy to be able to make the window as small as possible, or you can also stretch it out however you prefer, even across multiple monitors for one really large cockpit. Most of you are probably using X-Plane full screen though. Now we have an option to change the monitor resolution. By default, we use the settings from the OS, but you can change that with the dropdown here, or by picking custom and manually entering a size. One really helpful new option that's available only in this mode is user interface size in this dropdown here. This is a great option for high resolution monitors or if you have a hard time reading small text. You can see when I change this to 150%, the text got a lot larger. And depending on the size of your monitor, you may have even more options than the two I have. Now let's take a look at these additional options we can expand down here. Let's start with visual settings. Here you can change what view is associated with the default view, which is tied to the W key by default. We default to 3D cockpit, which is what most people probably want to use, but you could also use the 2D panel view, which was the default view in X-Plane 10, the HUD, which stands for heads up display, or even just the scenery and nothing else. Next up is the field of view. Here you can change what extent of the simulator is seen on screen at any given moment. Humans actually have a field of view of about 170 to 180 degrees when we include peripheral vision. By default, X-Plane puts this at 60 degrees, but I prefer it a bit higher so I can see more of the cockpit. If you set this too high though, you'll get a lot of distortion. Lastly, and probably most importantly, we have the visual offsets. If you're using multiple monitors, you'll probably want to adjust these settings. But remember, X-Plane only supports one type of view at a time when using only one computer. So we can set up a wider cockpit view here, but we cannot have one monitor show the cockpit while another shows just scenery, for example. The lateral rotation field here changes the view angle left and right, or along the X-axis. Vertical rotation changes it up and down on the y-axis, and adjusting the roll offset would be used to turn the view sideways. So here, in my two monitor setup, if I wanted my main monitor to be the typical forward cockpit view, and I wanted my extra monitor to be a view out the passenger window, I would adjust the lateral rotation offset of the extra monitor here in the monitor one box, and put it probably to about 80 degrees. If you have a three monitor wraparound setup, you'd want to set the left monitor's lateral rotational offset to a negative number to move the view left. Then leave the center monitor with no offset and change the right monitor to a positive lateral rotational offset like we did above. If however you have a flat wall of monitors, check this box to enable flat fractional offsets. Here you'll change ratios instead of degrees, but again, Using a negative number moves the view left, and a positive number moves the view right. And like noted on screen, a unit moves the screen by half its width, so a three monitor flat configuration would enter negative two for the left monitor, zero for the center one, and plus two for the right monitor offset. And on one final note, each section has a reset button if you ever accidentally change something and get a horrible end result and need to go back to the defaults. 
Now don't forget, you can always check out the X-Plane 11 manual online if you have any more questions about monitors or using multiple computers with X-Plane. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.